But I want to deliver a short message. And the short message I, I would like to share is having no expectations, you have no disappointments. And there's a multiple reasons that I'm going to discuss a few of them why you want to be that way. Many years ago, people would promise me the world and all kinds of things. I was so excited. Yes, yes, yes. Boy, I can't wait for this to happen, and they never delivered. Uh, or very few of them ever delivered. And I began to get disappointed, and then it would happen over and over and over again. And I asked the true source, what in the Dickens is going on? And the answer I got was, their intent is pure. They mean well, but they're distracted. So sometimes we say things we forget to follow through on, or something stops us from achieving them. Which is just wonderful, because everything is based on intent. And that's one thing you have to realize. If someone promises you something, their intention is pure. Now, a few of them are con people, and they'll say something they really don't mean, but you'll begin to notice the inflection in their voice that they're just conning you. When they say something with really passion, whether they deliver or not, that's a wonderful true intent. But having no expectations, meaning no disappointment. You know, we do things that are life, and we expect these positive things to happen. And what I've learned was that whatever the outcome of whatever expectation is, it's perfect. So, for example, when I went to visit Patrick and he put together a book launch party, and he said, 24 people are coming. I said, that's great. I'm excited. 24 wonderful people. But then, you know, there's another part of me that said, you know, I'm not going to have any expectation because I know whoever's going to show up is going to be perfect. Well, they have the fire, they close down roads, and if those people who couldn't attend want to get a hold of me, then they certainly will. And if not, this is not the right time for them. And I accept that. But if we go around having expectations and they're not fulfilled, you are manifesting blocks in your life. You're blocking the ability for creation. Well, they said there were going to be 24 and on 12 showed up, so it was a failure. What am I setting up a precedence for by saying that? What I'm saying is that if whatever is promised to show up, they don't show up, I'm always going to be disappointed. In fact, I may even block the people that are supposed to be there, and they may not show up. And many times what happens is when we're disappointed, we get depressed, we get down, we get angry, and what do we do? We have negative thoughts. Well, every thought is a manifestation. Every thought comes into our reality. And the universe doesn't judge whether it's positive or negative. We judge whether it's positive or negative. And if you look at it that way, well, nobody's going to come like usual. Nobody comes. Nobody will show up. Congratulations. You're right. You manifested. You know, one of my favorite cliches is from Henry Ford. Whether you think you can do a thing or whether you think you can't, you're right. So we have to remember that thoughts are things. We have to remember that we are in control of our lives. We have to remember that every experience is growth for our life. And we have to remember that whatever direction we desire in our life, we can manifest. Now, if you were to say to me, Michael, some of you have heard me say this before, pick me up a loaf of bread. And let's suppose that you're living in Maui. You should not care whether I go to Bellingham, Mass., Seattle, Washington, Boston, Massachusetts, Miami, Florida, and back to Maui and give you a loaf of bread. You don't care how you get it as long as you get it. So if you don't have any expectations, then you must remember that it's all going to work out perfectly because you won't have any disappointments. And remember, the definition of perfection means ever growing more perfect. So if you look at your life, and you think about what direction it's going in, and then you can try to control and manipulate everything, you may miss out on an opportunity that is even greater than what you try to control and manipulate. Why does a person control and manipulate? Because they want their expectations to come out exactly the way they want it to be. Otherwise, if it doesn't fulfill that, then they're disappointed, they're angry and upset, they get depressed, they get angry, whatever it may be. And what we need to understand is sometimes you have to go through a series of steps to obtain your goal, whatever it is. And as you know, my mission and goal is to help everyone reconnect with the true source, change the mass consciousness, and that we are the solution. 
Now, I could sit there and say, well, I talked to 20 people and two got it. Well, I guess it didn't work out. I guess this and I guess that. And what am I doing? I'm blocking it. But you know, there's the domino theory, and that is one, one tells two, two becomes four, and so on and so forth. Certain things take time. And it's taking time because everyone has to be open to change. All you need to think about is whatever is best will happen in my life. You have no expectations. You have no disappointments. It's going to be best in your life. Everybody has a definition of what best in their life is. Now, someone may say living in a $5 million home, having three Rolls Royces. Another person may say, hey, a one-bedroom apartment or house, I got food in my belly, I've got a car that runs, I am happy. I don't need anything else. So expectations vary for each person. But the truth is, when you manifest something, having no expectations or no disappointments, and you see how I keep repeating this is, your soul, your higher self, your oversoul, knows exactly what's perfect for you, more than you even know what's perfect for you. Therefore, when you manifest, I remember I wanted to buy a car, I went to the wrong car dealer, I went to the wrong place, got a stupendous deal in the car, it was perfect for me. And that's what I needed to understand. So I'm always in the flow of things. I mean, say I want this model or this or that. When I walked in, I was led to a different dealership with the manufacturer and some pleasing punch of the vehicle I purchased. And then I said, I want to pay it off earlier than the, I think it was six years, and which I did. Because what happened was, I was manifesting, directly and indirectly, more money each month to pay off the car. I never said I'd have to have another 50 or 100 or $200 per month, $10 a month, whatever. I just turned it over and no expectations how much it would be, so I had no disappointments. And that's one of the things we need to understand, that everything in your life you do, when you are in the flow, everything comes to you. When you try to control and manipulate it, you set up rules and regulations and blocks. And that's not your goal. Your goal is to have the end product. So think about this. And then what I want you to think about as I close, that you are, you know my mantra, you are unlimited. And that you can manifest and create anything. Just put it out there. Don't have any expectations how it's going to work. Just know when the time is right, it's going to work. So everyone, I want to alert you all that Mercury is retrograde. So be careful of your communication. And as I say to you, ask the true source to be in harmony and balance with Mercury retrograde. And it actually goes direct with the plan of communication on April, I'm sorry, on August 2nd, but actually there's what we call the shadow area, so it'll be going direct on August 7th. Everyone, please share this. You've been a wonderful group. I've learned from you. You know, one of the things I wrote to my son and I, I sent to some of you, and is sometimes you're the teacher and they're the student, and sometimes you're the student and they're the teacher. From this case, you have made me a great student. Thank you, everyone.